Good morning, United States, wherever you are. I don't know what to say. Anyway, we're back. We're on the road. We didn't die. We didn't quit. <laughs> this is day two. I'm not going to keep track of days because this is open-ended and we're just going to go until we don't go anymore. Anyway, we had a fun day yesterday. It was pretty good. Um, we uh, had to slow down a few times here and there, mostly for way stations, things like that. But we made it to La Grande which is where both sets of our parents live. So that's cool that we can stop there whenever we're going out I-84 heading east. And we did, we got to stop. We got to visit my dad who's been living on his own since my mom died in April. So I tried to get over and visit as often as I can. And so, okay, I got a fun story for you about this. So he's got this little dog named Danny Boy and he's kind of a Jack Russell Terrier mix. Great little companion dog. My dad loves him. And uh, he's a sweetheart, except, and he's one of these people in a dog suit, you know, except I think he's Eddie Haskell. Remember from Leave it to Beaver? Because, uh, you know, he's all sweet and, and friendly and nice and courteous to your face, and then you turn around and he steals your wallet. That's what kind of dog this is. Anyway, <laughs> he's a good dog. So a couple of days ago, my dad emailed me that he'd been sitting there just snuggled up with the dog watching TV in the living room, and the TV's right next to their fireplace. And all of a sudden the dog just jumps out of his lap and goes and alerts at something behind the TV. And so my dad doesn't know what he's doing. He's trying to figure it out. The dog keeps like pointing at something and, and acting like there's something back there. And pretty soon this little tiny mouse pokes its head out of the other side of the TV and runs off, scurries off somewhere else in the room. So this dog was trying to get the mouse. So my dad's writing me about this, that the dog has been obsessed with trying to catch this mouse for the past couple days and he's never found him. So we're there visiting, we're having a nice time, we're catching up, we're talking about the Super Bowl and all of this. And I get up to go somewhere and I walk past the stairs to go to the second floor. And right there on the very bottom step, laid out very neatly like a present, is a deceased mouse. So sometime while we were there, the dog caught the mouse and put it there on the stair for us to find. So anyway, so that was pretty cute. So um, with any luck, we'll be able to get back through there quite often. And we also then got to go spend the night with Tom's parents. And it's cool because they own a trucking company there in Eastern Oregon. It's a, a chip truck hauling company. So they take wood chips from the sawmills to the paper mills and back. So it's great because they can always tell us what road conditions are. So they're always hearing from their drivers. And they know the business. So it's really nice. We got to stop and have a great dinner, pot roast, and conversation, and got our laundry done already and everything. So got to sleep in a big comfy bed and have a shower this morning. So we're feeling pretty good. So today our mission is to get to a fuel stop in Ontario, Oregon, which is almost at the Idaho border. And then we continue on to Nampa, Idaho, where we have to drop off and possibly pick up some more grass seed that we're hauling. And then from there, it's just straight on to New York. So that's our plan right now. We are creeping, crawling up the hill with chains on because I will see if I can flip this around and show you what the outside world looks like. 